I fucking love Steins Gate. Like, I don't think anyone saw that after the credit scene coming, nor do I think anyone would have expected Mr. Braun to save the day from the rounders who aren't actually the rounders and everything is just not as we expected. I love Steins Gate so much. Curse who popping back up after a world line shift, seemingly alpha world line if I had to predict. I mean, literally we have Curse who back alive and well. Shit is getting wild and I love this episode so damn much. Like, first things first, Mr. Braun coming in, kicking some ass, taking some names. Like, I obviously knew they were coming for Kagari. Like, everyone could probably assume that's what was going to happen. They were coming for Kagari, and I didn't think anyone was going to die because as long as they did get her, they really would have no reason to kill anyone. But I didn't see Mr. Braun coming in to kick some ass and take some names, but it makes sense because one, he's not involved. But then two, also they're making so much noise and his daughter's up there, he's obviously going to check in to make sure nothing's going on that she shouldn't be a part of. It was just such an unexpected twist because I knew it wasn't going to play out exactly, of course. You know, my watch stopped working, that whole scene where rounders come in, you knew it wasn't going to play out exactly. But you didn't know exactly where they're going to go with it, and having Mr. Braun come in and then the kind of confrontation that he wasn't involved, Okabe having to drop the truth bomb on him saying, I know everything about you. However, I've always known everything, so you don't have to kill me, no one has to die, no one has to get in trouble. It was very unexpected to see that, and I love how they kind of, they pulled the viewer in with something that we're familiar with. The whole barging in, killing someone. They took that, but then they just reworked it so damn well. And made it so damn stressful, but also so mesmerizing because you didn't know exactly where it was going to go. But then you see the motorcycle helmet wearing girl get kicked in the arm. And then fast forward, you then see Dari's future wife saying her arm is sore and oh, it, it was just an accident. Like, I don't think you throw that bit of information there and really highlight it unless we're trying to indicate that, hey, Moika wasn't involved, Mr. Braun wasn't involved, neither one of them was involved in this, this wasn't the Rounders. And then you show a character who's been presented in a very good light and say, oh yeah, her arm, in a very similar fashion to where a chick who we have no idea who it was, got kicked very hard in the arm, more than likely Dara's future wife isn't as pure as maybe we once thought. And that's pretty damn unexpected, I have to say. Once again, props to Steins Gate. Like, they're making us see all these weird twists and turns, and then they just drop this giant red herring. It might not be a red herring. It might actually truly be her, but who knows what they're doing with that, and I love that. So unexpected. But it's interesting how, like, the confrontation, because when Okabe went downstairs to talk to Mr. Braun, that was tense. Like, Mr. Braun is a very menacing person. We've seen what he's willing to do in different world lines. And Okabe just dropping the bomb, like, I thought he was going to get his throat ripped out. And it wasn't until the others kind of pop in saying like, hey, you really should work with us. Hire us at your shop, just like before. And if it wasn't for his kid, they might have had their throats ripped out. Seriously, it was completely just, what's going on here? I'm so worried. But something that was actually pretty damn interesting, and I think is going to get overshadowed by all the twists and turns, is the Ruka moment. And basically, Ruka's saying, like, why is it that I'm the one left out? Everyone else seemingly knows what's going on. I'm hearing all this brother, sister, mother, father talk. Like, what's going on? And I like the conversation because it shows, like, Ruka's the one person that Okabe wants to keep grounded in this plane of existence, this world line. Everyone else is kind of tiptoeing around things. They know things that they probably shouldn't know. And Ruka's that one person that Okabe wants to keep not totally in the loop and just let Ruka live in this world line, think that this is the only world line. And I really like that moment. I think it's definitely going to get overshadowed, so I just wanted to make note of that. Because it's a very emotional scene, and I think it's a very important scene that's probably going to get overshadowed based on the after the credit scene with Kurosu popping back in after a world line shift, and then just Mr. Braun being a total badass. And I just like how they actually shifted the world line because I wasn't expecting it. Like, Mr. Braun was an unexpected twist. Didn't see that coming whatsoever. But then when Armadeus calls up Okabe saying, like, you need to help me, and then he's, like, reading Steiner, the shift in the world line. Like, I wasn't sure, were we going to see Kurosu? Because... It was being dramatic. I knew we shifted world lines, but I was not expecting Kurosu to be the one there. I thought it was going to be someone completely different. I didn't know what they were going to do, but to see that reveal, this series is absolutely incredible, and I love the cliffhangers. I love that this series constantly keeps pulling twists and turns. We don't know where it's fully going, and then when it twists the thing that we left off the previous week with, they'll just bring something that's even better and will blow your mind away. Like, Steins Gate is really... Hammering in the emotions, like this episode in particular, I thought the directing was absolutely on point. They really did kind of shift around. I was very much anxious. I didn't know what was happening. 
They were playing with my emotions with the soundtrack. There was a lot of ambient noise. There was just a lot of really good use of sound effect design and just everything in between there. It really made me uncomfortable. And that's why this episode, I think, is my favorite of Steins Gate Zero to date. Episode 7 really was suspenseful. It was eerie and just had so much going on, yet it didn't feel rushed or out of place. This was a perfectly compact and just contained episode. Nothing wrong with it. it, had so much going on. It felt like I watched five episodes worth of content, but I don't feel like anything was rushed. That's a difficult, difficult thing to manage. I think just with so much going on, who knows who you can actually trust shifted in world line. How long are we going to stay in this world line? Are we fully going to stay in this world line? Like Steins Gate Zero could do so many things right now and it probably would all work. I really feel like there's no way for them to mess this up. They could literally pull any punch right now and I think it would land and that's saying something. This episode really just left me on the edge of my seat. Starting off with Mr. Braun, blowing me away with that reveal. I was like, okay, we're not dealing with the rounders. Mr. Braun's kicking some ass. No one's going to die. That's awesome. Oh, man, amazing Ruka content. And then, oh, okay, now we're going to shift world lines again. Uh, what are you doing to me, Steinsgate? I love how it's able to just pull these punches. It's why I love watching Steinsgate Weekly, but I absolutely hate it all at the same time because I just love binging the show when I binge Steinsgate because I never watched the original Steinsgate week to week. I binge it. I've always binge watched Steinsgate. But having Steinsgate finally as a weekly format, I do love it. Like, I'm obviously going to binge it when it concludes. I'm going to buy the Blu-ray, binge it then. But I do like that week to week because it just lets your mind soak in all that content, theorize, speculate, and then next week will come around and it'll just completely blow you away and you won't see anything really coming. I love that. This episode was great. Love the voice acting. Love everything about this episode. This was a 10 out of 10 episode for me. I absolutely adored everything about it. But let me know what you're feeling. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Your favorite moment? Let me know what you're feeling down in that comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like. And if you're new, also be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.